Hi guys, Mam Mam here and welcome back to my channel. So today, I will be showing you how to sticker bomb. Basically, everything you can sticker bomb. Like your helmet, your phone case, your laptop, your bike frame, whatever it is, here's how to do it. Check it out. Alright, we'll be needing the phone case or whatever you're going to sticker bomb, an alcohol or an acetone, cotton pads or cotton balls. Alright, first thing is to clean up the surface of the material that you're going to sticker bomb. And then next is to choose the stickers that you're going to put on it. Or you can just go random with it, especially if it has a really big surface. Alright, now lay it on top first. Do not stick it in yet, so you have an eye view on how it's actually going to look like. Now, if you've got boring shaped stickers just like mine, rectangles, circles, and just squares, you can cut the sides of it so it'll have more dimension to it. Now, if you have a sticker that you would like to pop out of everything else, make sure to not cover most of it. If you can cover just the sides of it, that would be great. So, you will be able to see the message or the sticker right away. Just like this STFU sticker. So I'll make sure not to cover those letters. And this is a big one. This Nike.com sticker. I don't even know the what's the meaning of the Japanese um, letters in it. But it's kind of cute. And I'm going to be cutting that out and spreading all over. And also, do not put the same colors side by side. Like for example, green and green or red beside a red. Make sure to have contrast in your colors to make it all pop. Unless you're going for just like, you know, all black and white stickers, then that would be great. With doing a sticker bomb, there's no right or wrong rule to it. That's why it's called sticker art, sticker bomb, or slapping. Because you can just, you know, literally slap one sticker from another and another and another. That's the art to it. It's like graffiti. It, it, you don't have to necessarily understand everything. Just like with this off-high stickers, I actually cut it off into two words instead of just one. So I can spread out the colorful sticker around the phone case. Right now, for the sides, you can get a cutter or scissors so you can clean off the sides. And especially, do not ever forget to cut off the camera hole. And of course, double check if you've covered some of the, you know, speaker or the 3mm jack hole. Make sure to not cover any holes on your phone case or whatever you're working on. And here's our first phone case. Next step is to protect your stickers. All right, you can get an Elmer's glue, a Mod Podge, or even a you know clear spray paint would be great as well. Make sure to cover all the sides. Do not cover any holes. Again, be careful on that part. You can use um, a toothpick or the tip of the glue itself. So you can avoid those holes, especially the really small ones. Around the charger, the speaker, the sides, the power, the volume. Now we'll just let that dry for 24 hours. And here's another one that I did on my helmet. Um, kind of sports related. Like, you know, surfing, there's biking, there's skateboarding, and there's chup chups. I don't know why that's there, just ignore it, <laughs> but it's cute. Now on another phone case that I worked on, 
I'm just showing you how I actually use the glue tip to spread out the glue and just let it drip especially that I actually squeezed in too much and you know you wouldn't want to waste any product in here now just let it dry for 24 to 48 hours and to check that out if it's really really dry really really dry you can actually touch it and if you see your fingerprint on it then it's still wet do not touch it yet just put it on a surface where, where it can actually drip so it won't stick to anything like you know normally you put it on a table but it, use anything that you can you know put it on top of and now it's all dry now if you do not have an Elmer's glue you can also use a nail polish a clear one a clear nail polish all right now just a little trivia about sticker art sticker bombing or slapping now here are more ideas on what you can sticker bomb And there you have it. We're all good. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really appreciate that. And if you did like the video, enjoyed it, or at least learned something from it, please do not forget to hit on the like button, subscribe to my channel, and turn on your notification bell so you will be the first to know the moment I upload a new video. And for any comments, questions on what we did, or suggestions on what videos you'd want me to do next, please feel free to put them all down below or hit me up on Instagram at it's me, MavMav. Mav. Same handle, you can check me out in TikTok as well and Twitter. You now have a good one. I'll see you on our next video. Bye-bye.